We are doing a quick baby pack session today and we'll try to keep it short so that we don't clog your uh, phone's memory. So this is a baby pack uh, which we were talking about the other day in the cats meeting. It's good for ventilating babies up to 10 kilos, maximum 15, but if you've got bad lungs then you are going to struggle, in which case you need an oxylog which is the ventilator for bigger kids. Uh, baby pack is very good, very simple to use. The advantages are you don't need electricity, it's guest driven. What that means is you have to just connect air or oxygen. You do not need both. You can use either or. Air is usually a black tubing, black marking, and the way it goes is, is straight in and you do a tuck test to make sure it's not coming out. And what you might have noticed which you that the air thing turns white. You keep watching it when I put the oxygen on and see what happens and this thing has turned white. That means your oxygen and air are both connected. The important thing there is that if you're connected to both, then you look at the white setting, which is which goes from 50 to 100. That is, if you're on white, then you can go up to uh, maximum 100% if you're just on oxygen. If you have connected both, then you have to read the yellow setting, which goes from air up to 70%. You can't go more than 70% if you have connected both air and oxygen okay uh, you can connect it to a oxygen cylinder as well uh, which is a cd small cylinder for transport purposes so looking at the dials once you have connected these both you can see that there is no electric connections there is just a circuit here so this is the circuit that comes there is one in the back and there are some up there if you need a spare ventilator circuits um, which is in and which is out doesn't matter so they are both the same you connect it here, one goes here, the other goes here, and this goes in the tube. So we leave that. Simple to connect, um, and these are disposable, one use only. Before we connect it to the baby, you usually use a humidifier to trap the humidity. Otherwise, if you're ventilating for a long time, the baby's lung may get dry, and there will be atelectasis. So we try and connect this before we connect it to the tube. It will increase the dead space a little bit, but that does not matter. Okay. So looking at the dials quickly. The first one is the most important one, which is alarm pressure. So make sure it's never ever set more than 30, unless you intentionally go up on that. Otherwise you will blow a pneumothorax. 30 is quite a high pressure for normal lungs. You may intentionally want to uh, increase it a little bit. The second one is the dial, which goes up for peep and pip. We'll see that in a minute. The next one is the inspirate to time. So the only thing in this ventilator, the baby pack, is you cannot set a rate directly. You have to set an eye time and an expirate to time. So for example, don't set a very small eye time, otherwise the baby will struggle to breathe. So eye time should be around 0.5 for simplicity. And let's say we want a rate of 30 per minute. What will be your uh, expiratory time? It will be 1.5 seconds. So it will be a 2 second cycle. Uh, so we set the uh, expiratory time at 1.5 seconds. If you can't remember at 2 a.m. in the morning, you can look it up here. That's your expiratory time and that's your inspiratory time. And you can determine what rate it should be. Usually do not ventilate babies at a faster rate. 30 is plenty. So set the eye time at around 0.5 or higher and set the expiratory time at around 1.5. That will give you an expiratory rate of around 30 per minute. That should be enough. This we have already talked about looking at the oxygen concentration. Uh, if you are really struggling with oxygenating, take the air one out and then you can go up to 100% on the oxygen. Next one is your uh, switching on. So as you can see the modes are here. CMV plus PEEP and CMV plus active PEEP. There are CPAP as well, but usually we do not provide CPAP with this machine. And then there's IMV. The normal, the most common one we use is CMV plus active PEEP. The difference is, if you just put it on CMV plus PEEP, it will be only the intrinsic PEEP of the child. There will be no extra PEEP provided by the ventilator. You'll notice the difference in the sound. So if you look, if you hear, between the breaths, there is nothing going, okay? Between the breaths, there is no air flow. If you turn it to active peep, you'll see there is a continuous hush between the breaths. Okay, so always try and keep uh, CMV plus active peep. It will use a lot of oxygen. So if you are in a uh, transport setting, like in a lift, then you can go on to CMV plus peep to save your gas. 
Otherwise, try to be on CMV plus active P, especially if oxygenation is an issue. Okay, so you set it there, and then you set your pressures. I'm going to occlude this to see what the pressures are. So this is your PIP, that is peak inspiratory pressure. Let's say we set it at 20, and then this is your PEEP, which does not have a number, you'll have to look it up there. This is not working at the moment because we don't have a dummy lung, but you should usually be able to see the pressures up here, the PEEP and the PIP. Once you are happy that you are uh, getting good pressures here, then only connect the baby uh, to the ventilator. This goes to a normal ET tube, and uh, uh, once you are connected, what is the first thing you are going to check? Whether the chest is moving or not. So you're, you don't know what pressures you are banging the baby or if you are using a T-piece, you might be able to see what pressures are you are using and you try to use similar pressures. If the baby desaturates as soon as you connect the baby to the ventilator, disconnect, back the baby and reset the ventilator, make sure it's working fine. This alarm usually means that there is a leak, so just make sure that there is no leak or sometimes if your uh, alarm pressure is low and your PIP is high, then it will start alarming as well. So it's a very quick session, uh, very quickly I'll go again, so this is off here, uh, turn it on to active bleep, set the uh, inspiratory time and the expiratory time, set how much oxygen do you want, 